The World Health Organization says the world is under attack, from bacteria becoming resistant to even the most powerful medicine. Experts say doctors and patients alike are to blame for this formidable public health threat. The, the threat to antibiotics has been, has been brought about largely by overuse of antibiotics. But when you use antibiotics, you can also select out resistant bacterial populations. And therefore, when we overuse antibiotics, the more you overuse antibiotics when they're not necessary, the higher the chance of selecting out resistant bugs. Everybody is susceptible, but patients with a higher use of antibiotics are more at risk. And hospital patients are more likely to die from resistance-acquired infections. So when patients also come into the hospital, they can get infections from catheter sites, from um, urinary catheter sites and from intravenous drip sites. They can get surgical site infections. And because there are resistant bacteria in the setting, then that, that can drive antibiotic resistance. This is also driven by poor hand hygiene. When you do hand hygiene surveys within hospitals, usually the compliance rate is very poor. Um, but as I say, that's an international issue and it's one that certainly we're addressing and we're addressing as part of a national strategy to combat antimicrobial resistance. The WHO says new antibiotics need to be developed, but this will take at least another decade. Mendelssohn says if there's any chance of preserving the effectiveness of antibiotics, they should only be used when absolutely necessary. But the key to protection is still vaccination. Bibi Aisha Bidvala, Cape Town. No more. ENCA.com.